Hello, we are pleased to share our video describing a percutaneous extracapsular closing wedge osteostomy of the proximal phalanx. In this video, we will show you the key steps of the correction of the valgus lesser toe deformity seen in this case. This patient has a clinical valgus deformity of their second and third toes and was listed for third generation peak or hallux valgus correction. The patient is positioned supine with the ankle hanging off the end of the bed, which enables the foot to rest on the receiver of the image intensifier. The use of a tourniquet is a personal preference and may not be required if performing isolated proximal phalanx osteotomies of the lesser toes. The second toe is gently held with a rampley sponge holding forceps, with the leg rotated to obtain an AP view of the proximal phalanx and identify the base of the phalanx. A 2mm incision is made dorsal medially just distal to the second metatarsophalangeal joint. An irrigated 2x8mm burr is set at low speed with high torque. The tip of the burr is positioned at the diaphyseal metaphyseal junction at the base of the proximal phalanx, just medial to the EDL tendon. This position is confirmed with the image intensifier. The burr is inserted through the near or dorsomedial cortex, but does not perforate the far lateral cortex. The burr position is checked on the II. The dorsomedial cortex is cut from inside to out, with the thumb of the opposite hand helping with the feedback when the burr cuts through the dorsomedial cortex. The tip of the burr is then positioned back into the proximal phalanx to rest just above the plantar cortex with the position checked on II. The tip of the burr is inserted through the far cortex and the whole plantar cortex is cut with the burr. It is important to cut the plantar lateral corner as this bone is hard and without division the osteotomy cannot close down. To achieve this the burr is swept medially taking care to avoid over penetration which would risk damage to the tendon and neurovascular structures. Finally the burr is rotated medially to complete the osteotomy of the medial cortex. These saw bone photos demonstrate the final extracapsular closing wedge osteotomy and in particular highlight the plantar lateral cortex which has been cut with the burr. A large gauze is used to hold the toe to prevent slippage whilst manipulating the toe. A medial and slight plantar force is applied to the toe whilst the second MTPJ is stabilised with the opposite hand. A soft crack is heard similar to the reduction of the Greensick fracture which completes the medial closing wedge osteotomy as it closes over the intact lateral cortical bone. This will result in the toe appearing straight. If needs be, further manipulation of the toe can be performed in order to ensure that the deformity is fully corrected. These fluoroscopy images and saw bone photos demonstrate the final position. The technique can also be applied to the other lesser toes, as demonstrated here on the third toe. The principles of the osteotomy when applied to the other lesser toes are the same as when applied to the second toe. It is important to manage the incision during this procedure to avoid iatrogenic damage from the burr. The incision can be manipulated with the thumb and index finger of the other hand to ensure that the burr stays in the centre of the incision at all times. The toe can be manipulated in a similar fashion to the second toe in order to achieve the final deformity correction. The final results can be seen here. The wound is closed with a stage strip only with no need for any subcuticular or external sutures. A dressing is applied with a piece of cut gauze over the dorsum of the toe. A loop of micropore tape is applied onto the gauze to help stabilise the osteostomy as shown in a figure of eight configuration. The patient is allowed to fully weight bear on the foot in a stiff-soled, flat post-operative shoe. Additional post-operative instructions can be reviewed here. In summary, this video has demonstrated the key surgical steps for the correction of valgus lesser toe deformity using a percutaneous extracapsular closing wedge technique. For more information, please review our paper which has been published in FAI, which accompanies this video.